And hello, hello, hello. This is Psycho Chronic, aka Psycho Rarity, here with another episode of Rarity Talk. What is Rarity Talk? You say or what you think? Rarity Talk is my little vlog or podcast or show, whatever you want to call it, but I say it's a vlog because it showcases photo albums and match videos of my experiences in the near 20 years I've been in the FGC, just showing up to events, supporting the scene, just documenting my journey, and just one of the OGs of Canada still remaining to this day. So here we are, another episode. Episode 66, ST Toronto at Red Eye Guy Birthday Kumite. Psychochronic, aka Psycho Rarity, discusses ST Toronto at Red Eye Guy Birthday Kumite, the final casual in Super, the final casual Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo session recorded in February 2020 for Red Eye Guy's birthday, shortly before the COVID 19 pandemic. The 66th episode of Hopefully Many Part Canadian History Lesson, Part Time Theater, Part Photo Album. Speaking about the Canadian Street Fighter community through my perspective, and this ain't going to be long, I hope. This is uh, kind of thinking about it, this is just another local filler episode, so I got about an hour. An hour, give or take. So, to kind of make things special and to make things chronicling with the timeline. This is everything that I have related with ST Toronto right here. So everything in, in relation with ST Toronto is all uh, here in, in various volumes. So I'll try to do the right thing. And uh, what, 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 and uh, yep. So I've, uh, what I'm also doing is I've also live streamed everything in advance and recorded everything in advance. And I just release everything two days amongst each other. Therefore, I've done ST Toronto History, the top eights, and ST Toronto at Hey USA all within the same day. So it's already 4.16 a.m. on Jan- on fe- February 15, and this will be released on February 20 at noon. So, all right, let's get this show on the road. Profile, local area GGPO player from the Scarborough area willing to explore the local FGC. Classic SNES KI player with news on KI 13 but hasn't explored the KI aspect locally. Xbox One. The name is very familiar from the ST Toronto First Revival on Shoryuken forums in 2012. Here we are six years later in 2018. So he has a YouTube channel and he has a fan site. So it's a good thing I have it already open. Alright, so we have his the Killer Instinct Online, his number one the number one fan site. Alright, no problem. He has everything I have everything from all the I just chose a whatever the mid clip from the archive, the web archive, and this is his YouTube channel. Advanced uh let's see what do you got. Arcade versus SNES, which version is better? Combo breakers, advanced, advanced unbreakable combos. Alright, a couple of uh SNES uh online gameplay. Alright, no problem. There you go. So that's a little profile. <laughs> Two birds with one stone to put in the test in this latter part of the SF5 era. One example to enter a community the wrong way along with talent recruitment and development in, lo- in a local scene for a legacy game. So this I got to put to the test and this part I am not going to fucking omit from the story. This I have to put up. So the, how I, I was introduced to this man, Red Eye Guy, he's a very nice guy and that's all... That's all good when we, you know, we get to know you. But how we were first impressioned, he, it, it, you blew us off the wrong way. I'm just saying, everything is done on Facebook. Okay, everything is done on Facebook, and there's one person in the scene. I'm, I'll just say the name Jetto Seven, who does not be active on Facebook. So you must be active with him. You must have his cell phone number. No problem. So I don't know what the story is, but apparently. Him and Red Eye Guy played on Fightcade, and they he apparently Jed gave my number to this guy, and he gave my uh, like Unessentials number, and then and then he said he gave like Dogberry's number. I don't know, but I know he gave my number and Unessentials number for sure. And I'm like, without discussing that with me, thinking, oh, I may have his number in advance. Hey man, he may be cool with that. No, I was not cool with that because you never met us in person. Number two, he had a Facebook account, and it's a fake name, 
with, with no, you know, it's just, you know, no real pictures on it. It's just a fake name with, you know, just a bunch of illustrations, drawings, whatever. And I'm like, no, this could be, I know this got, you know, it can be viewed as a troll account. I'm thinking, yo, this guy just sent, a fr sent us friend requests. And then when I happened to play this guy in Fight Kid, we didn't connect. He actually texted my phone number. Hey, man, so, some, something about, I uh, hope we, we, we can connect next time. That's when I knew something was wrong. So because Jed is not in that Facebook chat, Facebook group chat where me and like unessential and dogberry whomever so we can discuss activities he kind of did piss off the whole group I'm just saying like me I'm now I'm on edge it's like yo who is this guy this guy needs to fucking show up to a weekly and fucking he needs to explain himself all right so come to the next weekly he introduces himself you know I'm red eye guy I'm not gonna say his name his real name it's like I'm red eye guy like I apologize you know for getting a, you on edge or whatever. And I'm like, yeah, man, because that's very offensive. I'm just saying, like, we've what you just demonstrated was stalker-like behavior. You basically had our phone numbers before you even met us. First of all, you need to go to a session first before you even send out friend requests. You already the, the, put put that on, on the table. Yeah, I'm just... You're going to think, oh, having our numbers in advance, yeah, we're cool with that. No, I was not cool with that, and I know for a fact Unessential wasn't cool with that. All right, getting straight to the point. There are all of us here in this ta in this group right here. So that's me, Unessential, Pestro, Jet07, whoever, Bort, whoever, I, whoever there were that day. I want you to apologize to every one of us and every one of us that you pissed off or whatever offended. So that's what, four people? You got to buy each of us a drink. That's all. That's all. That's all. And then we see how you go in from here. All right. So he did, he bought the, he made the apology. He bought the drink. No problem. No problem. Okay. All problem. We're done with that. Now I want to see what you're made of in this scene. Let's see how you go. Because my, my I have a very different mindset of talent recruitment and development. If you say you want to learn from us, that means you have to make a commitment. You got to show up almost every week so at this time almost every week is when the super gun is available to be played in the wednesday weeklies on top of that you're fortunate enough to have a big major coming up in canada cup so you in my opinion you have x amount of months until canada cup you have to show up to canada cup there's no rhyme or reason not to show up because like oh the fifty dollar venue fee or whatever no, no 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 this is your home major you got to show up so what I can respect from Red Eye Guy is every week he showed up, he wanted to learn DJ, he wanted to learn the matchups, and then eventually he went to the home major in Canada Cup and got to experience what it's like to be in the home major and experience competition, etc., etc. Respect plus. Res Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Respect plus. No problem. You've shown to, to us OGs and the other top players of the SC in Toronto, yo, man, you you actually serious in learning? He, he actually shows up to the sessions and actually learns. So, good shit. Trip planning. Invited by local resident DJ Main and Red Eye Guy for birthday casual sets and pizza. So, kind of knowing Red Eye Guy, I was in the drum and bass scene and exploring it. And I'm like, yo, I, this is the type of guy I'd take to a rave or a drum and bass scene or a trance and progressive scene. I'm like, yo, man, or... If liquor wise, this is the type of guy I would have a glass of wine with, or a shot of whiskey with, or a shot of Hennessy with. Yo, know, for sure, man. I know he's a UFC guy, that's for sure. Uh, getting to this area, which is a 15 minute bus and walk from Warden Station, is a brutal trek of almost two plus hours. Please start this early, 2 to 3 p.m. Perfect place for casuals and pre-drinks before Pink City. So I always had this tradition that before I head up to a Pink City event, I always drink up beforehand just to save up bar fees and just hang out with the guys and just get some casuals in beforehand. It gives me an excuse to go into Toronto for a long period of time. And then because I come all the way from Mississauga, and then you need to find a way from Mississauga all the way from Pink City. And if you don't know what Pink City is, think of Pink City as... Uh, nerdy street anime, nerdy street clothing anime type, uh, like a fashion brand, but they host the, the
the best parties in Toronto cosplay. So that's where I party with. I party with cosplayers too. We'll only go under the condition that Jet07 gives me a ride to the local weekly spot, the Hive Esports, at 9 p.m. for a cosplay Valentine's party. Pink City Ready Set Flirt. So you gotta factor in. I'm just gonna just go through every picture just very slowly while I'm talking the story. <clears throat> that hey man, we live all the way in Mississauga. I think it's only fair. Like, I if I'm gonna go all the way to chill to this birthday party, I know for a fact I want to fucking party with these guys. So I want to do two birds with one stone. That's that's two communities. So you get to hang out with your FGC people. Then you get to hang out with your cosplay people. And this is basically where all the best and like basically all the best in Toronto cosplay party at per se. So this is our Wednesday weekly spot of where we play Street Fighter and all these other fighting games. So Stun City, they also do it on Mondays too for Tekken and uh, other 3D games like dr or even anime games like Dragon Ball. So this is where we play on Wednesdays and this is where they party on every other Saturdays. Well, not every, like every like two months. They just choose a Saturday and they just choose this venue. So it's basically like home. It's like, yo, this is where you train up, man. You were regular in this venue because you know almost everybody. So this is where I party with. So I'm just going to speed up because you know everyone. So there's also stations. So this is like the nerd party of Toronto, if you think about it. If you're a, if you're a cosplayer, then th this should be of no... Uh, no uh, I, I would say no uh, stranger to your uh, event calendar. So basically, they even cross into the rave scene too. So people that you've seen at Baseline in the past or in other places, other music venues like Rock Pile, you've seen them here too. So drum and bass scene guy that runs the drum and bass scene. Kawaii people. Beer pong on the pit. On the pit. Yeah, beer pong on the pit. So this is the last time you'll ever party with these cosplayers and then COVID happened. So what it's what happens hours earlier that I'm going to show is what I, yeah, what I'm going to show hours hours earlier that I'm going to show. So we go to the Red Eye Guy birthday kumite video first to threes. <clears throat> so, so we start off with Jet 07 with Dictator. So Red Eye Guy mains DJ. Nice. Yeah. Jackknife maximum to punish the scissor kick. Uh -oh. Psycho Crusher. Ooh. Devil's reverse. Yeah. Whoa. Nice you look. Uh, patience, Josh. You're out, you gotta, you gotta watch your approach. No Ooh, way. Ooh, yep. I threw your the kick. throw I rage. Threw I threw a punch. Oh, I threw, I saw throw rage. Enemy. So, Dictator has a fatter hitbox when he doesn't attack or when he's crouching. Got the old camera here. I know I got some whiskey in my system. I know I got some pizza in my system. I know I had to use his bathroom for like 10 minutes to fucking gel my hair and fucking, you know, swab my ears. Be ready for Pink City later on. Walk throw from mid screen. <laughs> that's very disrespectful, but that's how we do. No. God, oh. He's 
playing with fire. Devil reverse. Super? No, I should have super. Oh. Yeah. That was a giveaway. Both of y'all fucked up. Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was a scramble. Scramble gone wrong. Yeah, scramble gone wrong. No. YOLO. No wake up. No YOLO wake up. Nice. Was that an up kick? Yeah, but the fierce one has shortened this ability. Yeah. So I got fucked. Ooh. Oh nice. Oh, nice. Juggle. That's the one with. It's normally two, then one. He got with the one and two. Ah. Punishing the fake devil, the, the 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 devil's reverse. Short to short to short scissor. Ah. Throw. Oh, nice. All right. You were ducking, weren't you? That's why. Tech. Nice. Wake up Jackknife Maximum to Super. So bad Carnival. Wait. Die. <laughs> no. Get your ass out. No. No, I threw your thing at <laughs> What the fuck was that? Even I think that's cheap. Show ass up. Ooh, nice. two one. Two one. Okay. Yeah, first to three. So he's gotta do five first to threes. Nice. Devil reverse. Should have stand leg kick before you landed. Devil reverse. Nice. 
Nice. Two row. Two two. two. <laughs> All right. Stomp. Ooh, nice. The jump strong to beat uh, the head stomp in the air. Yeah. Ooh. All right. Three jackknife maximums. Three hit. Three hit. Nice. Throw. There's a lot of like little jump scrambles going on. Yeah. 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 Lots of jump scrambles going on. Throw. Ooh, try to walk throw. I guess that the strong beats the opening frames of the jackknife maximum. Ooh. Scan line. Yep. Go, 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 go. Ooh. Nice. All right, final game. Final game, final round. Final round. Oh, shit. Nice. Oh. oh. So we got unessential using Cami and Chun in this set. If you had done that closer, you would have thrown me, I think. Uh, I Normally when you like, do a first no, to three, uh, landed, like, you basically five. lock your character. Was, um, so I can understand the frustration of him playing this matchup. This matchup is very bad. I think it's seven I not I'd say nice. seven three in DJ's favor in my opinion. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is not a good matchup. Say Charlie Kenny, no random super. <laughs> yeah. No! That shouldn't happen. Hooligan. Oh, oh nice. Nice. There Don't you let go. That happen. <laughs> <laughs> nice. No! Yep. Ooh, nice. The light so bad is a knockdown. There you go, 1 0. Recording. Get some footage out there. Well, you could have stuck with like one character only. Yeah. Another yeah. Character. With Chun Li. Yeah. That's fine. No, that's fine. I'll see how. It would have been fun seeing Kenny trying to stop it out with Kenny. No, yeah, that'd, play. That'd be a challenge. Yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. Right? challenge. That's why you use a secondary no matter. Yeah. Yeah. Right, I'm, so I'm failing this. Fuck it. Yeah. So, oh, up kicks. Terrible. Right. Exactly. So we're at okay. So so you you just heard that uh, you know yeah. it's a challenge. Okay. So how many times have I been to Stun City? You know the weekly TTT tournament at High V Sports where how many times? We're ST station, no tournament. Nice. Just play casuals. Done. Dedicate the entire evening using casuals. So what's the challenge here? Use Fei Long in every situation oh, possible. It doesn't. Nothing's on the line. Oh, I you on that far, 
It's not. Who cares if you lose 20 straight? Who cares? It's like it, it's casuals. You're learning that to train up, train your, train the character and the knowledge you can. Dedicate the evening into not using Chun Li and using Fei and only using Fei Long. No problem. So that's how. That's my training regimen of how I learn a, a, a character in, in Super Turbo. That's not Chun Li. Oh no! Nice. Ooh. Yikes. Ah. Ooh. Slash. Super. Yeah, super for chip. Then lame it out. No. Lame it out. Yeah. Nice. Clutch. Nice, nice, clutch, nice. Clutch, clutch. When you were in the corner, you hit him with that jump up short. That was a good time to go for a throw. Because you could have killed him. Oh, man. Mm hmm. So ballsy. He should have supered. And then he auto correct super. And then he reversal oh, super. Wow. And then you got responded with fireball. Yeah. You jump back. He's gonna shoot. Oh, oh shit. two one. We try to out YOLO each other. Ooh, nice. Ooh. Ooh, nice throw. Try to do crouch fierce into machine gun upper. Ooh, up kiss. See, see, this is why you gotta have a thing to do for every situation. As soon as you saw that stun in the corner, you should have been like, "Yeah, yeah, that's what you deserve." When you don't punish the dizzy, you no, know, you kind of deserve it. Jump, jump you should have punished the dizzy. Nice. Nice. Alright. 
Max outs. Fireball war. But I, I trying to get in. Nice. Super. Super again. Ooh, nice. Oh. Who got greedy? 2-1. Two, 2-2. One. Two, two. Oh, two, two. All right, 2-2. Two, two. Yeah, yeah, so I had... Yeah. I yeah. <laughs> so I had it predicted oh. against Jed that totally Red Eye Guy would lose oh, and he won. So predict my, my prediction is that Red Eye Guy would win. I don't. I'm not gonna. I don't know the exact score. And then, unessential, deciding to switch characters. Like, okay, welcome to the challenge. All right, welcome to the challenge. This is a bad matchup. Six four, if anything. But I know it is not in Cammy's favor. Nice. Nice. Kenny. Oh, nice. Oh, there you go. But get responded back. What a response. Wake up. Wake up reversal. I only have one frame to survive. And you gave it to me. Frame trap, motherfucker. The sound you made though. Jackknife maximum to punish the hooligan. Get punished. Hey, that's three. That's three. So I had predicted that he'd win. Yep, yep, he won three, two. Oh, so, so I had predicted. Such a counter pick, Kenny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought you meant with Cammy. Jock Berry, I think he's going to lose to Jock Berry. stuck with Cammy like this that one time. I think he's going to lose to Jock Berry. Like, ouch. So let's predict. <laughs> Ken. Bash. There you go. You lean forward. Enjoy this old classic footage. <coughs> Alright. Oh, it's full full candy that I thought it comes down to my turn. <laughs> Wait, why would I do that? Yeah, why would you? Charge. I didn't have to actually jump. All right, so the third set out of five. So we're all we're roughly halfway through this video, if anything. Trip guards. Okay, one hit Sobot knockdown. Chip damage to do from the machine gun upper. Tatsu air Tatsu another air Tatsu. Ooh, walk up knee bash. Or you can. So bat carnival. Something. Yep. But yeah. You're lucky. Ooh. Ooh. Super first. Yeah. Because I predicted oh, Dogberry man. would do his super. Oh, yeah, so it's basically right second there. super wins. Oh, that's what happens. Like, like, like from the corner of my eye, I'm like, yeah, Kevin just did the super. No way. That was Esty's birthday gift to me. Yeah. Happy <laughs> birthday, Hugo. <laughs> Oh. E-Bash Air Tatsu to beat uh, The Jackknife Maximum Nice, Ooh, wow. nice. That nice range <laughs> A token Beer matches. 
Yeah. You missed. You're gonna miss the beer. Yeah, yeah exactly. exactly. <laughs> the free beer. Well, no, we'll take the, the wine. No, I said gonna grab the root beer. Okay. No, no, that root beer. beer I was gonna bring that with me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. I need that root beer. Shit. Yay. Oh, nice. Was that an accidental input? Or? Yeah. Uh, yeah, he tried to. Do, yeah, he did a funky kick, force kick, by accident. <coughs> Knee bash. Five ten seconds. Save some time. Ooh, nice. Ooh, nice throw. So I had predicted that he would lose. What do I have it predicted as? Because I have predictions on it. Uh, lose, all right? Is he going to win or lose? I had it predicted that he would lose. So, Because this is a very tough matchup for Ken. Look, let's see if Dogberry can beat this matchup. Sure you can. Minute mark of this episode. Good shit. Quick filler. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. All right. Lost three two. 
Right. Who's up? Really, it's true. You can. Right. Me. So it's predicted that he'll win. Because I'll, I'll be using Fei Long. Yep. So, and then he'll, a prediction of a So these are all predictions as of this point. Because I had it figured that he'd lose to Jed and he didn't. So, all right. So this is me versus... This is me. All right. Opening seconds out. This is a very fucking tough match. This is even worse than... Uh, this is even worse than DJ Cammy because Cammy has it worse. If I try to chicken wing, he has uh, an up kick, a uh, jackknife maximum up kick ready. At the end of my reka, I am not safe. Yeah, see, he can just sweep. He can just immediately oh, attack. Just that was an accident. This is tough. Yeah. I'm trying to mash out. I'm trying to mash out flame kick. No, there you go. There are things you, that you're not supposed to do in a match that I will do. You're not supposed to jump in on E Honda. Well, I'm gonna try to at least cross him up. And if uh, I know he's gonna whiff headbutt or butt slam, so it gives me a safe way to attack. Oh, this is bad. If, even if I do chicken wing from afar, he already has a slide as a trip guard. And with that slide, he already has a charge ready to do a fireball upon wake up. I, do, I find it troubling with charge characters, again, with, with Fei Long versus charge characters like DJ or E Honda. It's very bad. I'm trying to mash out flame kick during that block string. There you go, and it connects. You gotta work hard for this shit. There you go. I'm trying to cross him up. Oh my. Oh. Do you for those family situations? Oh, you cool. Up kicks. Okay. Then you're not safe. This is hard. Where, like, you're both one one. From dying. Yeah. Like think about it this way. First, the more actions you do, the more chances of you making a mistake and you know, a punish. Yeah. Secondly, the more actions you do, you might get caught in the middle of an action when he makes a mistake and can't punish. So the less actions you do, the more chances you have to punish a mistake he makes. That just puts my shots slightly better. So that's why that's why we say like don't go, don't be so scrambly. Like don't be so like. Yeah. Ugh. Punish the machine gun upper. Alright. Yikes. Oh. Because like, like, if, if there's an opportunity, you don't want to miss it, right? That's why you're usually doing nothing. Yeah. So, so you have the opportunity, 
Yoga fire. Oh, that jackknife maximum. That that up kick just punishes that out. Is it my normals or my chicken wing? Oh, and I, fuck. I'm a two one. Two one, yeah. Like, I am not feeling it. <laughs> Because I wanted to punish that at recovery frames of that final kick with a Rekka. No. Yo. No. Damn it. Nice. Got a trip guard. You can just run away. All right, good shit. Three one. All right, Bestro. All right, so what's the prediction? Lose. All right, so he did win. All right. Oh, you win. Oh, don't stop. Okay. All right. So, so, you, so you won't be scrambling me. Yeah. Sometimes I rely on like a higher probability move, but it's not reliable. I guess because DJ has no, just, just such a priority. Especially here, yeah, right? Don't do it. The less you do, the more opportunities you have to take a, take a win if he makes a mistake. Yeah. You don't wanna you don't wanna have him make a mistake and you'll be in the, stuck in the middle of an animation or jumping. Yeah. Right. If you're just standing there, we're in the range to do you do anything. Then that's all you do. Just wait for a mistake. When you do an action, he'll just do an uh, immediate button. He'll just press a button imme immediate. Reactions. He presses a button when you press a button. Swept. Yeah. Super. Uh, don't commit to anything. Remember, just do nothing. Or fake. Yeah. But yeah, fake. Don't commit to anything. Fake is. Craziness. Dang. Nice. nice. Oh. Ooh, walk throw. One zero pestro. Good shit. Can you react though with the sweep? To what? At that range, can you react with the sweep? To which? To the throw? Like you probably got, you probably, probably might have gone thrown anyway. No, but, but, no, you can get thrown actually in the beginning animations. He was, he yeah. Was thinking, he was thinking of himself sweep or, or Yeah, you can get yeah. thrown in the, in the beginning can animations of a sweep. Yeah, yeah. for sure. You don't want to commit to that, right? Yeah. If you can react to that, yeah, go for a sweep or a throw. But, but it's pretty risky because no, you like, take a knockdown. There you so, go, nice. Um, at that range, though, I can, I've actually been thrown, like, while it's like, can you starting. react at that range? Like, I can react, yeah, it's like, it's okay. less than a tick throw, right? So, like, less than a tick throw attempt. But yeah, it's just, I 
it's sometimes it's better to just yeah. Like you said, I mean, wait. are you able are you able to hit that sweep and know for sure it will hit them? Well, uh, so that's, that's not a, that's Ooh, not a head nice that's mix up. Head stomp to beat the the, the up kicks, well. up kicks and back when you land. Yeah, and that's actually one of the worst situations DJ Chong. Yeah, it's just she can control him there. I should be stuck. I should be like in neutral all day, but it's yeah. Not a reliable. Like, just give yourself more space. Give yourself space so you can react to everything he does. Yeah, bitch. Yep, if throw. If you can't react to, just stand further. Nice. Up kicks. Nice. Nice. Oh, man. Two zero. You stream it down for move or two, right? <laughs> you stream. You look at your frame it then before you before you decide to move or not too. Shit, yo. Yeah. Ooh, nice. Slash. Fireball war. Nice. That's three. That's three that zero. Was that was two. So some other character. All right. So that was two. I I just wanted to film only that set. I didn't want to do another you know round of other sets. Just 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 that set. All right. So that is the results. Prediction and results. Good shit. End. End. All right. So that is episode sixty six. Of Rarity Talk SD Toronto at Red Eye Guy Birthday Kumite. And I had this predicted a filler episode, no more than 60 minutes. So, alright, so what am I doing for the next one? So, I already have so much on my plate. So, it's a good thing I recorded three in a single day again. So, that's good. Live streamed it too. So, I am at where am I? Alright, so 67 will be my experience with Xbox Live during the Ice Age. So we're going to travel in the in, in the calendar. So we did SC Toronto. Now we did uh, uh, Hey USA. So af after the majors of SC Toronto, we went to Hey USA. Then after Hey USA was Red Eye Guy Birthday Kumite. And then COVID happened. And now from Toronto, I am now living in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. So as of this point, it explains my experience with Xbox Live during the Ice Age, and it was as no different as my experience with Fight Cade during the Ice Age. So technically, it's a continuation of, a, of episode 52, but, you know, in timeline-wise of what you're seeing here, it's like, okay, here you are. In not By the end of the year, you're out of Toronto because of a pandemic. All right, so that is episode 66, SD Toronto at Red Eye Guy Birthday Kumite. All right, that's the end of the recording and the stream, and I'll see you when I see you. Thanks a lot for joining in. You're awesome.